Chair, members of the committee, my name is Claudia Blackman, Co-Director of Government Relations for Multnomah County. Thank you for considering this legislative concept and the opportunity to explain it to you. This particular legislative concept builds on Senate Bill 457A with the Dash 5 amendments from the uh, regular 2013 session. It was also a late mid session bill and was primarily worked on by the Sheriff's Association. It's something that was put forward by them. This concept would require that health insurance companies pay for health care that's provided to those people who are insured by them and are incarcerated in county jails. So most, if not all, health insurers in Oregon have exclusions in their policies for people who are incarcerated. I'm talking about everyone at this point. So it's, it's anyone that is insured by a private insurance company and continues to have their premium paid but are incarcerated in county jail. So the, even though the premiums are continue to be uh, continue to be paid, the insurers will not cover the health care costs while the person is incarcerated. And so currently the health care for these people who are incarcerated is paid for by the taxpayers. This concept would remedy the cost shift by requiring health insurers to continue to pay for health care for their insured population, whether that care is provided in the community or in jail. And that's pretty much a quick little two minutes suffering. Thank you. Any questions? Why, uh, why is it that the insurers don't continue to provide coverage when someone is incarcerated if the premium is still being paid? I think, Mr. Chair, Chair I guess. Representative Conger, I think that's probably a question for the insurers. Yes, I would hate to speak on behalf yeah, of that. It's always been exclusive on people I remember looking at some policies in front of the project that I was doing in 1960. We all excluded people on the state or uh, state people like in state hospitals or incarcerated. The, the really egregious part of this is that people who are there pre adjudicated, and that, that really doesn't make any sense because they could be out on bail and, and it would be covered, but because they're in, in a jail, it doesn't. So we could ultimately think of a compromise as we go down the street on this. And we start with the It makes no sense. There's no reason to do that. Mr. Chair, members of the committee, if I could add one more comment. I just left Association of Oregon Counties. They're having a meeting in Eugene this week, and they um, have introduced a resolution that they will be voting on in about 45 minutes. But I can tell you that the commissioners that you all represent are very strongly in support of this particular legislative concept. <laughs> <laughs> Until we find out how complicated billing is, it may be a story, by the way. As a former county commissioner, I'm sure you have. Thank you. Uh, Mr.